What's up, party people? How you guys doing? How you guys doing? It's Friday once again. Favorite day of the week. What are you doing this weekend? I want to know. Go to the chat box and let me know. I'll tell you what. Um, tomorrow is Indigo's birthday. She is turning the big number two. It's kind of crazy how much time, how quickly time has flown. And, uh, you know, it only seems like a couple of days ago when she was a tiny little baby that was about yay big. And now all of a sudden she's running around and she's flipping upside down and walking places on her hands. And <laughs> she's an active young lady. So we're going to have a little fun birthday party for her tomorrow. And, uh, you know, make sure that she knows how special she is. So that's what we got planned. I want to know about you guys. Ooh, you guys got any exercise plan? That's paramount. You guys get any uh, social events? That's also paramount. Tell me exactly what you got. Diane says, good afternoon. Happy birthday. And to go. Thank you, Diane. I'll let her know. Paula says, what's up from West Palm Beach? Paula's back again. She's always here. I love it. Uh, Mike says, apple pecking with the family. Mike, pick me some apples. I'm interested. I want some. Robert, great. Not sure about the weekend yet. All right. No worries. No worries. Just make sure it's active. Make sure it's fun. Make sure it's outside. It's uh, hopefully still warm where you are. Uh, Eileen says, family coming. Cool. I hope that's fun. <laughs> Wendy, spinning guild. I don't think I know what that means. Spinning guild. Uh, educate me. Robert says exercise every day. Good job, Robert. That's what I like to see. I love it. I love it. Heather says walking to my son's soccer game at the park. Oh, cool. Sweet. That's happening right now. Cool. I love it. I love it. I love it. Diane, gardening. Stephanie, what's up from California? How you doing, Stephanie? Nice to have you with us. Lee says, uh, what's up from Lubbock, Texas? No plans yet. All right, cool. Make sure it's active. Make sure it's outside. Make sure it's social. That's all that matters. Wendy says, wool spinning. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Now that makes sense. I thought you meant like bicycle spinning. <laughs> Donna, Palm Springs, California, starting whole food plant-based program, trying out new recipes. Now that sounds like fun. I remember that was me 20 years ago. And uh, here we are. I dig it. Okay, Diane, what's up from Disneyland? All right, cool. So today what we're going to be talking about is holistic approaches to weight management and diabetes control because oh, there's a lot of nonsense on the internet today. There's lots of nonsense on the internet today. And it's really hard to understand what's real, what's not real, what's fact, what's fiction, what's real news, what's fake news. And, you know, the more that I peruse around social media, the more I would just want to turn it all off. Truth be told, I don't even like social media, but I'm on it just because I want to see what other people are doing. And the truth is that there's a lot of uh, misinformation about people telling you that the most effective way to lose weight is to eat a ketogenic diet or a low carbohydrate diet. The most effective way to lower your blood sugar, blood glucose is what they should say, is to eat a low carbohydrate diet. The truth is that a low carbohydrate diet, as you guys have heard me talk about a thousand times over and over again, is very effective short term solution, but it is not a long term solution. Uh, low carbohydrate diets cause a significant amount of digestive discomfort. It causes digestive inflammation and it causes inflammation in your muscle and inflammation in your liver, otherwise known as this nice little funny thing called insulin resistance. So anytime you are increasing your level of insulin resistance, you are doing yourself a disservice. And that's why the most important thing that you can do as a human, regardless of what type of background you come from, whether it's living with any form of diabetes, whether you're overweight, whether you're trying to improve your gut health, or whether you're non-diseased, anybody will benefit from increasing their insulin sensitivity. So that's the focus of the entire approach. And that's and and because of that, it's the central node that affects so many different conditions. And when you become insulin sensitive, all of a sudden your symptomology of everything goes down. It's pretty badass. It's pretty cool. All right. So I want to talk specifically about weight management here for a second because uh Lots of people, lots of people come to me and lots of people come to us and tell us that they're overweight and they, you know, have been struggling with their body weight for a long period of time and they feel unconfident. They feel like they're slow. They feel like they, they aren't living in the body that they want to be living in. And as a result of that, they want some significant positive change. Now you tell me, go to the chat box. I want to know if you, you have, you have three choices. Okay. The question is this, have you ever ex uh dealt with uh being overweight okay and the answer is uh the, the you got three choices number one i want you to write the word past meaning yes i struggled with my weight in the past the second answer could be current meaning yes i currently struggle with my body weight and the number three is no 
I have not struggled with my body weight. So you either get to write past, current, or no. Okay. And the question is, have you struggled or do you currently struggle with your body weight? Okay. So in the chat box, I see Pat says current. Wendy says current. George says past. Renee says past. Here they're coming in fast. Stephanie, current. Athena, is that right? I just lost it. I'm just going to read the results. Current, current, past, past, current, past and current, current. Yes, current, current. I see mainly currents. I see some pasts. Okay. All right, cool. So <clears throat> if you guys are, I, in fact, here's the funny thing. Here's the funny thing. Not a single person has said no up to this point. That's the interesting. Actually, that's, I lied. Nancy was the only person that said no. Okay. So I got one no and I got mainly currents with some pasts. Okay. Lori says past was 305 pounds now, 165 with 15 pounds excess skin. All right. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's a 150 pound drop right there. That's huge. Okay. So the reason why I wanted to ask that question is because uh, being overweight affects more than 65% of the, in the entire United States population. That's a large number. Okay. So 65% of the U.S. population is overweight and a little bit over 35% of people are, are obese. And that's a problem because the truth is, is that neither being overweight nor being obese is something that you were likely born with and not something that you have to live with. These are preventable uh, issues. These are preventable conditions. And you can and you do have the power uh, in your lifestyle. Now, if you go onto the internet or you go to your doctor's office and you say, hey, I'm overweight, the first thing that most people will tell you is that there's this new magical, power, powerful drug called Ozempic or a new powerful magical drug called Wegovy, and that these new drugs are your ticket to losing weight. If you've ever heard that before, just write the word yes on the chat box, okay? Have anybody has ever told you you should use Ozempic or that, that they were using Ozempic and they were feeling fantastic, that you should use Wegovy or any, or maybe they've referred to it as a GLP-1 agonist or a GLP-1 receptor agonist, any of those. If you've heard about those or you've been sort of tempted into taking that, maybe your doctor said the same thing, then write the word yes, okay? The reason why I'm asking you is because that is the predominant tool that most people are using in today's world to try and lose weight, okay? It's a pharmaceutical medication that specifically is designed to help you lower your blood glucose, but the side effect is that it also helps you lose weight and keep that weight off for a long period of time, but... There's so many side effects that come along with this that it uh, may not necessarily be the good, the right choice. Carol, yes. Uh, Athelda, yes. Renee, yes. Wendy, not diabetic, but my doctor just proposed going on Ozempic. Okay, Wendy, this is very important for you. Very, very, very important for you. Pat, yes. Robert, commercial by Big Pharma. <laughs> Lee, yes. Uh, doctor trying, trying to convince me to take it. All right. If anybody has a doctor that's trying to convince them to take Ozempic, I want you guys to listen up and write this down. This is very important. Okay. The reason why Ozempic became a really powerful uh, tool for doctors is because Ozempic works. Ozempic is an appetite suppressant, a very powerful appetite suppressant, and it functions by doing two things. Number one, it tells the hypothalamus inside of your brain that you're not hungry. It literally goes and it knocks on the door of your hypothalamus and says, hey, by the way, could you reduce your appetite for me? And by doing so, your, appetite, your hypothalamus is like, all right, cool, sweet. I'm not really that hungry anymore. And then you just have a reduced desire to eat food. That's the direct interaction with your brain. Number two, there's an indirect inter interaction with your brain that happens through your digestive system. So in your digestive system, the walls of your small intestine and large intestine have stretch receptors built into them. And those stretch receptors are there because when you eat food, the large intestine, small intestine stretch to accommodate the food that's inside of them. So when the walls of your small and large intestines stretch, the receptors inside of the walls of the small intestine and large intestine send signals directly up to your brain. They go right up to your hypothalamus and they go, hey, there's stuff inside of my digestive system. Could you please eat less food? And your hypothalamus is like, cool, sweet. Sounds like a plan. Thank you for the message. So there's two messages going directly to your hypothalamus. Number one, direct, and number two, indirect through your digestive system. As a result of that, your hypothalamus turns down the volume, makes you want to eat less food. And then as a result of that, you don't eat as much food. Well, guess what happens when you don't eat as much food because you don't want to, then you go into negative calorie balance. And as a result of that, you start to lose weight. And before you know it, you look on the scale and you're like, huh, I downed three pounds this week. I lost four pounds next week. And then before you know it, a month goes by, two months goes by, three months go by and you go, whoa, I'm 26 pounds down. I'm 34 pounds down. That's pretty crazy. And here's the best part. I'm not even hungry. This is unbelievable. This is a magic drug. Okay. Here's the problem. 
There's a lot of side effects that come along for the ride. Number one, nausea, in, incredible, very high nausea. A lot of people just cannot stand it because they take one injection of Ozempic and then for 24 hours, maybe 48 hours after that injection, they're like, oh my God, I feel terrible. I don't even want to get out of bed. This is horrendous, okay? Number two, people sometimes end up vomiting as a result of taking it, okay? Because it has direct interaction with the digestive system and it can affect the way your digestive system behaves. And as a result of that, some people are like beyond nauseous to the point where they're literally going to the bathroom and they are throwing up. Not fun. Number three, Ozempic is very expensive. Wega V is very expensive. And when I say very expensive, I mean it can be between $900 and $1,500 a month. $900 to $1,500 a month month. That's like another mortgage payment. That's like, that's like three car payments. Okay. That's like paying rent in a really nice place. That's a lot of money. If you ask me 900 to $1,500 a month for a medication is kind of absurd. Okay. And then number four, Ozempic and Wega V, these GLP-1 receptor agonists, they only work when you take them. That may sound like a dumb thing to say, but they only work when you take them, which means that if you're trying to lose, call it 60 pounds and you use Ozempic and you use that for like four months and you end up losing 60 pounds and you're like, cool, sweet, I'm done. Ah, everything's good. And then you stop taking Ozempic. Well, what do you think is going to happen? By the way, it's going to go back up again. Okay. So the second you stop taking these drugs, your, blood, your, your body weight is going to go back up. Now, we know that that's the case because there was a trial. There was a, a, a study done. It was called the STEP trial, the STEP 4 trial. And in this trial, they basically had two groups of people. They had group number one. They Basically, they put a whole collection of people, about 1,000 people, onto uh, Ozempic, and they had them reduce their body weight for a total of 20 weeks. At the 20-week marker, they then did a flip-flop. They split people into two groups. Group number one continued to use the, the active ingredient called semaglutide. And then group number two got a placebo, which they, they were unaware that they were taking a, a pill that was basically totally ineffective. And they wanted to see what was going to happen to these two groups. And what they found was that everybody lost weight going into the initial 20 weeks. So at the 20 week marker, everybody was down. And then when they started feeding either a placebo or they or continued giving semaglutide, what ended up happening is that the ones that continued with semaglutide, aka Ozempic, those people continued to lose weight. They lost another 8% of their body weight. But then the people who were given the placebo ended up raising their body weight, went back up by 7%. So there was a 15% difference between the two groups at the end of the study duration. So what they concluded from the study was, well, fancy, fancy. If you stop taking the medication, then your body weight is not just going to hover. It's not just going to stay where it is. It's actually going to go right back up. And the reason for that is because your hypothalamus is no longer being suppressed. It's no longer, it doesn't have handcuffs on it anymore. And as a result of that, you're going to start, your appetite's going to increase and you're going to start taking on more food. Shocking. You take on more food, you end up gaining weight again, right? So there's a much more important holistic alternative to taking Ozempic or Wega V. And the holistic alternative is called fiber-rich food. Fiber-rich food activates the exact same pathways. It activates GLP-1 inside of your gut, and it activates it. Actually, it, it suppresses your hypothalamus at the same time. So when you do when you eat fiber-rich foods, including any fruits, any vegetables, any legumes, and any whole grains, okay, those are one, two, three, four of the most powerful whole foods you can consume. If you eat those, and you eat those on a, a relatively abundant um, scale and you're doing it on a, you know, multiple times per day, every single day, then what ended up happening is that your, your, uh, receptor, your, sorry, your stretch receptors in your small intestine end up becoming stretched because there's fiber rich foods inside of your stomach. And then those end up going up to your brain to signal to your hypothalamus that you are full. So it literally triggers the exact same mechanism. So your hypothalamus then basically goes, Oh, Hey, by the way, I'm not that hungry anymore. And as a result of that, you take on less food. Now, here's the best part. Fiber-rich food, just like Ozempic and Wega V, only works when you eat it. But here's the best part. There's no side effects of eating it. It's a lot less expensive. You don't get nauseous. You don't want to vomit. And it certainly doesn't cost between $900 and $1,500 per month. Absolutely not. Okay? So if you were to ask me, I would take whole foods any day of the week because you know what? When you take whole foods or when you eat whole foods, 
There are so many powerful benefits that come along for the ride, including improved insulin sensitivity, reduced blood glucose, reduced A1C, reduced blood pressure, and reduced cholesterol. All of that comes from along for the ride. And you end up losing weight and getting to your target ideal body weight. And you can stay at your target ideal body weight as long as you continue to eat a whole food plant-based diet. So here's what I want you guys to do. Go to the chat box and tell me if you have also experienced anything similar, okay? I, I don't want to be here just telling you that you can eat a whole food plant-based diet and all of a sudden, you know, your, your life is going to change. I want to know if you have been eating a whole food plant-based diet, does it actually have an appetite suppressing effect? Are you losing weight eating this way? Because I have a feeling that you're going to say yes, but I don't want to, I don't want to guess anything. Here we go. Let's go to the chat box. When he says it's a perfect time to talk about these drugs. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. Bonnie says, yes, Bonnie, I want to know your, uh, your actual, your experience. There was also a question about Trulicity earlier, so I want to get to that question as well. <clears throat> oh boy, Renee says, I lost 85 pounds in six months following this lifestyle. <laughs> Very nice work, Renee. That's incredible, okay? George Copia says, yes, it does. Marilyn says, yes. Joyce says, yes, feel full and losing weight. It's great. It's great to hear. I am very happy to hear this. Okay, I'm going to read you a passage from the Mastering Diabetes book. There was an individual who asked about Trulicity. He says, could you talk about that? Okay, so Trulicity is a GLP-1 receptor agonist, just like Wego V and just like uh, Ozempic. Okay, so it, it has the same mechanism of action. The other brand names include Tanzium, Trulicity, Bayetta, Bidurion, Victoza, Zoltofi, and Soliqua. Those are all very challenging words to pronounce, but they all have the exact same mechanism and they all do the exact same thing. Okay, I'm going to read you the passage from the book about the side effects because this is important. Because GLP-1 agonists act on hormones in your digestive system that assist in insulin production, they cause extensive damage to your digestive organs. They're known to cause gastrointestinal problems, including, but not limited to, gas, bloating, diarrhea, flatulence, which is farting, and have been also shown to increase your risk for pancreatitis and gallbladder disease. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I don't want either one of those, okay? They're considered safer alternatives than sulfonylureas, which are another insulin-producing uh, drug, and they target multiple tissues simultaneously. Um, but please exercise caution when evaluating whether using a GLP-1 receptor agonist makes sense for you. All right. So let's go back to the chat box. Marilyn Eldridge, one of my favorite human beings of all time. She says she lost 21 pounds in two months. Marilyn, I love that. I absolutely love that. That's incredible. Okay. Diane says mostly low fat, whole food, plant-based diet lost over 120 pounds in September. That's incredible. 120 pounds in a year. That's incredible. Nancy absolutely lost 30 pounds, just fell off. You guys, you, you, you're my favorite humans of all time. I freaking love this. Okay. Carol. Okay. Uh, Renee says also reverse type two diabetes. Amazing. 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 Carol says all these shots made me sick. All these shots made me sick. Okay, cool. So these injectable medications, they can help you lose weight, but my Lord, do they, they make you feel so bad. It lowers the quality of your life and it's not, not absolutely not worth it. Okay. Robert, whole food plant-based all the way. Got weight loss, but was not my issue. A1C from 7.6 to 5.7 between October and May. Amazing work, Robert. So good, so good, so good. Uh, Carol earlier said, I lost 19 pounds since eating plant-based, but now strictly plant-based. Fell off wagon. All right, cool, cool, cool. Let's get back on that wagon because you know it works. I know you know it works. I know you know it works, Carol. <laughs> so you just got to make sure you can, you can do that. Okay? I mean, whole food plant-based diet for nine years and I lost 80 pounds. Amazing. All right, Bonnie lost 60 pounds on this diet and kept it off for a few years, slowly gained some back when I had unrelated health issues. Okay, phenomenal, phenomenal. So now let me just do a, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you guys about uh, amla, amla berries, uh, Indian gooseberries and how they can aid in this process of eating a whole food plant-based diet and losing weight. Okay, as you guys probably know, Indian gooseberries are, the single most powerful antioxidant-rich food ever discovered by humans, period, end of story. So we created a tea because amla berries taste like crap. You just can't eat them. They're, they're garbage, okay? So we created a tea, and then it enables you to put the amla berries inside of, uh, inside of a, a, a good-tasting beverage, and then as a result of that, you'll end up taking it on more, and then it'll have its metabolic effects, including but not limited to increased energy, increased ability to think, lower blood glucose, lower um, cholesterol, and lower blood pressure. All of those are good things. 
now we were getting feedback from a lot of people that they wanted coffee, 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 coffee. Hey, do you have this in a coffee? Can I get it in a coffee? I like coffee. Can you put it in a coffee? Can you put it in a coffee? So we said, all right, cool. We're going to listen to what people are saying. So we created a coffee. This took us more than a year to do. So if you go on our website, you can see in the products on the top left, there's a coffee bag. So if you click on that coffee bag, you will get an opportunity to taste the world's most powerful coffee, the world's most metabolically powerful coffee. Okay, this is a coffee that's actually truly good for you because this coffee packs a punch. It's got coffee, beans, plus, I'm sorry, it's got ground coffee in the package, plus the power of the amla berry. So if you enjoy drinking coffee and you want a more powerful coffee, then I highly recommend getting your hands on this. Now, we put together a free guide for you guys. And the free guide is a whole collection of recipes that include this amla green coffee. Now, here's the best part about this, this coffee guide is that it's not only beverages, but it's also food. Who knew that you could put coffee into food? But trust me when I say these recipes are ridiculously good. Okay, so this guide here basically shows you, it teaches you about the metabolic power of this coffee, and then it teaches you how to make things like pumpkin spice latte, cherry mocha smoothies, pumpkin coffee granola, vanilla cold brew overnight oats, maple coffee boot, uh, roasted chickpeas, in case you're a chickpea fanatic like I am. You can actually put this into chili and make some mushroom coffee. Uh, you can make popsicles that are coffee flavored. You can make coffee ice cream. I mean, the options are freaking endless, okay? No bake coffee soaked dates. What? What are we talking about here, okay? So this is a very creative way to integrate this into your, your diet. If you prefer to just drink it as a liquid, you can do that too. But if you actually want it in your food and you want to get creative and you want some really interesting ways to incorporate this, then I highly recommend getting it. The way to get this, just write the word guide, G-U-I-D-E. Write the word guide inside of the chat box and we will send it to you. We will just magically send it to you, okay? So whatever social media platform you're on, whether you're on Facebook, whether you're on Instagram, just write the word guide. If you're on YouTube, and I know some of you guys, no, actually you guys are not on YouTube. So just, yeah, whatever social media platform you're on, just write the word guide and I can see that coming in right now. Then what we'll do is send you a direct message and we'll give you an opportunity to download this guide. I want you to start what I would like is for you to take this guide and start making these recipes and, and give me feedback. Tell me, what do you like? What do you not like? Okay, what's tasty for you? Um, the more that you can get omelet berries into your diet, the better. These things are so powerful. It's pretty crazy. Okay, so let's get that going and let's get the power of this into your life. Now, the whole purpose of talking today is to find holistic approaches to weight management and diabetes control. And the truth is we haven't even talked about blood glucose control. And we don't have time, but I will tell you this. Amla berries are one of the most powerful ways to reduce your blood glucose period. End of story. As, as far as foods are concerned, single foods are concerned, amla berries are one of the most powerful glucose reducing foods ever discovered by human being. That's a pretty cool thing. But number two, eating a whole food plant-based diet, including fruits and vegetables and legumes and whole grains is not only going to help you lower your blood. I'm sorry, not only going to help you lose weight like we just talked about, it's also going to help you lower your blood glucose because that is the path to insulin sensitivity. The more sense insulin sensitive you can become, the more your fasting blood glucose will come down, the more your post-meal blood glucose will come down, the more your average blood glucose, aka your A1C, will come down. I know there's people inside of this uh, event who have already experienced the power of eating a low-fat plant-based whole food diet just the way, the way that we described. So if you have experienced that, just write the word yes in the chat box. Yes means, oh yeah, my glucose is coming down and I can see it and I can prove it using a whole food plant-based diet. Okay, Marilyn says, I just received the coffee. Let's go back up. Trying to figure out how to brew it. Maybe down the road directions should be on the packaging. Just my thought. Have on the green teas. Love all of them uh, in food as is hot tea. Perfect. Marilyn, great to hear from you. Okay, so... The answer is we purposefully did not actually include uh, brewing directions, which may sound like a weird thing. But the reason we didn't is because people love to brew coffee in so many different ways. Some people like to use a French press. Some people like to put it in their coffee maker. Uh, some people like to put it into, uh, you know, they like to, what do you, you like create those filters and then single filter every single cup. It's totally up to you. If I was in your shoes, the question is, how are you actually brewing your coffee? If you brew coffee using a French press, 
then just take two scoops of coffee, put it into the bottom, put the hot water on top of it and stick it in the French press and let it sit there for like five or six minutes. Okay. If you put it into a coffee maker, then put it into the filter like you normally would. Just take a couple of scoops, put it right into that filter, turn on the coffee maker, walk away and put the cup underneath. Okay. If you like to make it in a Keurig, get one of those reusable Keurig containers, stick the coffee directly inside of there and then put that right inside the Keurig. Okay. The options are endless. However, you would normally use regular coffee grounds. You can just substitute this and make it that way. It's just that simple. So I hope that's helpful. Okay. And then as far as the yeses are concerned, Joyce, Marilyn, Diane, Robert, Mike, Wendy. Boom. All of you guys are saying yes, yes, yes. Paula, yes. Oh, man. So many people here benefiting from this. It's fantastic. There's still a bunch of people writing guide. Paula says, I put it into the smoothies. Amazing. Debbie says, I drink omelet tea every morning. Amazing. Love it. You guys are awesome. Cool. So you guys are seeing the power of the Umla Berry. You guys are seeing the power of a whole food plant-based diet. You guys are seeing the power of eating a whole food plant-based diet for weight loss control or for weight loss and for reducing your blood glucose. I love seeing you guys here. Thank you for being here. I hope this was helpful. Again, for those of you who are communicating with your doctors who want you to be on Ozempic or Wegovy, you know how I feel about it at this point. Okay, The decision is up to you and I am not your medical I cannot give you any medical advice, but I can tell you that there is an alternative that is equally as powerful, that comes with no side effects, and that is a whole lot less expensive. So if you are receiving pressure from your doctor that says you need to go on Wegovy or you need to go on Ozempic and this is the only path, then you have the right to say, you know what? I respectfully disagree. I'm going to go use a whole food plant-based diet and I'm going to lose weight that way because that way seems a lot more logical. It's a holistic approach and it has zero side effects. So if you want to do it that way, then I'm going to give you a giant virtual hug from wherever you are. And uh, I appreciate you guys' attention today. Thank you so much for being here. And thank you, Diane. We love you guys. I love you guys. And uh, we'll see you guys next Friday. All right. Have a great day.